Hi, I'm Daniel and this is Asheville. Today, we are doing a showcase of a 15 million pound home. What a house. Who had it first, you or Drake? This is the actual chair from Wall Street. This house was purchased for seven million pounds. Four million pound has been spent on a refurbishment and now the house is valued at 15 million. Now it's on a one acre plot and the house and all the outdoor spaces total up to about 13,000 square foot. gone on to the other side of the gate because this is the logical place to start. Now straight away it is a bespoke oak vehicle gate and this is the owner Andrew's coat of arms. And in the same detail which we have on the main gate carries through to this pedestrian gate. This is all face recognition. There you go. Whoa! And the door automatically opens and the gate closes automatically and it's magnetic. We have a camera in this area, has a look at where delivery drivers are dropping things off and we're gonna have a unit just here. And that makes sure that all the parcels are safe and when you do wanna open it, everything is pushed to release. Now the first thing I wanna show you is this waterfall rock feature right in the middle of the driveway. And the driveway is circular, which means you can come in one way and head straight out the other. These pillars at the front, they were original, but inside and outside, the place is a lot different than it was. Look at that for an entrance. Amazing. First thing we see is this spiral staircase with the stark carpet with the gold trim. We have marble floor throughout and a baby grand piano. Starburst chandeliers by Mui Louie, which hang from the first floor. And we have antique mirrors. We even have a gold boot signed by Pele. All the doors are a black timber finish. And on them, we have the gold trim handles. Black and gold are the colors of Andrew's company. Southern Grove. And Andrew, this is kind of like a show home it is. that you create, isn't it? Yeah, it's a show home, yeah, to show the capability of the company and all the different options that we offer, particularly kitted out with Samsung kit. So yeah, look forward to showing you around. The first thing is this bespoke cabinetry that I want to show you again with the black and gold theme. All the walls in this area are fabric and all the windows on this property have bomb blast film. So you would have to smash at them with a pickaxe for like an hour if you wanted to try and get through them. This is the actual chair from Wall Street, the Michael Douglas Wall Street. This is the coat of arms that you saw at the front gate. We have the wood paneling. And here, Andrew wants to know what you are looking at. So computers here, Zoom calling and Ronnie and Reggie Cray and Daniel Luizzi are in the backdrop. How do you feel when you work in this space? It's a great space, very light, airy, four large windows. It's northeast facing, so it doesn't get the sun directly on it. So it's actually a nice, cool, calm space, which is actually what you want. You know, you spend a lot of time in the office. So this is northeast facing. Yeah. And the back area, what you can't see yet, that is south facing. Full south facing. Full south facing. All day. All day long, the sun shines in the back garden, but I'm not going to show you that yet, but wow, wait till you see it. We have the matte black finish on the ceilings, bespoke joinery on the walls, black and gold Elvis guns. We have this great light feature right in the middle. And this is where Andrew does a deal. So if he wants something off you, these are the chairs that you sit in. This feature around the ceiling will be an ongoing feature throughout the house. So much like the black and gold and the architrave also. 
we have the parquet floor in the central area and then we have the same marble floor from the hallway that continues into this area. So it has continuity of this marble throughout the ground floor. Now let's take a walk into the kitchen living area. Whoa! So here we have the marble finish worktops. And huge island. A huge marble island in this color. Who had it first, you or Drake? Ha, huh, probably Drake. Again, we've gone with the timber finish on all the doors with the gold and we have the marble on the floor. Same as the hallway for continuity. And have a look at this cool feature, a gold plinth all around the bottom. The wolf cooker. Sub-Zero fridge. Normally I call a fridge freezer large, but I don't even know what that. <laughs> and this kitchen area, back straight on to the dining area with parquet flooring. And the entire kitchen living area backs on to the garden. It all opens to give a feeling of inside, outside living. This dining table is Stingray. Again, with the gold feature running through the middle of it. Now this fish tank acts as a divider between this room and the cinema area. This is a 146 inch television from Samsung and it is 8K. Around this television, we have gold speakers and we have a number of speakers which are in the ceiling. Look closely, you can see that it's also a textured feature. We haven't gone into too much detail on that because we didn't want it to be overbearing or take away from the rest of the detail in the room. On the walls, there are bespoke oak panels, lovely fire encased in stone. There's a rug down, what looks really nice and helps with acoustics. And the sofa, what's gone in, it's basically designed so the entire family can chill out. People can throw cushions on, they can enjoy the space, and they all have a great view of the television and charge all their phones. There are USB charging points everywhere here. The entire house is run on a control four system. Everything can be controlled by your mobile or one of these touch screens or even on your computer. Andrew has named his goldfish Ronnie and Reggie. And I have never seen a fish tank with black stones in the bottom of it. Really cool. And now we step out into the outdoor space. We have an 18 meter by five meter pool. Water features in this area. Small plunge pool here, what is powered by air source heat pumps. So green is the new black, environmentally friendly under my new business, Future Life. There we go. Now this is the outdoor entertaining area cooking facilities out here to grill. We have pizza ovens and we have this large table so the family can all sit together. Al fresco. We have this trellis feature with the lighting as well. Looks like something that we would have somewhere in Sicily. We have a seating area where people can chill out. Now the back of the house is epic. Andrew decided in keeping with the house's original features, but just did an internal refurbishment and made use of all the outdoor space because a lot of the space out here was just greenery. The build took 10 months in total and there are just some final bits that have got to go in. Luckily, I'm able to bring you some time-lapse footage. Walking alongside the swimming pool, it's three meters deep at this end. And again, there are black and gold tiles, which are around <laughs> the pool on every side. We have a timber walkway made here with staggered levels. Greenery in this area with bark. And this is on our way as we walk into the gym.
the Southern Grove Asheville Gym is a black and gold theme and I'm proud to say I planned this gym with Andrew. There's an LED wall here and this LED light pulses with whatever music you're playing. There's a fabric in the middle of it and if you have a look around the sides here we have the checker plate industrial finish. Fully air conditioned by Samsung. We have an 8K television but this one is 85 inches. Ceiling area is black. We've even gone with the yellow lights. In this area where you can work out, it has the yellow mats. And the great thing about this space is all the doors slide and they open. So once again, you bring the outside inside and the inside outside. Stepping out into the outdoor play area. And there is a five-a-side pitch here with floodlighting. Walking back over to the house now, you can see the view of it. Let's have a look what this house looks like at night. see on a lot of properties, um, people just use bifold doors, but in this house, it's a mixture of sliding doors, bifold doors, and French doors. And you'll notice the same finish that's used inside is actually used outside as well. We have a small step, but because it all matches up, you can't tell. It feels like it's one space. What a space this is. All the walls have been wallpapered and hand painted. You can see the detail going around at the top of the ceiling. Everything matches with the rest of the house. It's like an ancient Rome finish and it works really well. And here we have a lovely steam room. These areas that you've seen thus far all have ceiling speakers. Everything is controlled on your iPhone or your iPad from anywhere you are. So this house has been designed to showcase the capabilities of the business, but at the same time house a family and entertain. Back in the hallway, Time to wake our way upstairs. Spotlights above the curved part. On this landing, we have a seating area. And we have artwork on both sides. And on the other side of the seating area, we have a very small Zen garden, which was designed by Tim Barrett, the design guru behind this house. You can see the chandeliers all staggered at different heights, all different sizes. And now we step into the master bedroom. Having a look at the door, we have the gold handles and then we have the gold hinges. Between the rooms, we have the gold threshold in the carpet. This is something we do on a lot of projects. One wallpaper here, and you have the same wallpaper here, but just in a slightly different color. It's a great blend of the two colors, which give it a really high-end feel. The seating area looks onto the television, but also looks onto the bed. We have fabric wall paneling that has a gold detail. The side units with the gold feature, which are all bespoke. And the side lamps, black and gold. Again, the teddy bear chairs right next to the French doors with Juliet balconies, which open. This gives you a look out to the outside area. Samsung are fully air conditioned here as well. We have one up here and this unit with the gold feature on it, that's also air conditioning. We have a fireplace with a stone surround and we have the Samsung 85 inch 8K television. We have a small coffee area here and we also have the gold handles and we have the gold cups. When you first look at these lovely curtains, they do not look automated. They look like standard curtains, but like everything else in this house, all of the curtains in this space, all part of the Control 4 system. And as we come off the master bedroom, we go into the master dressing area. 
So we have the carpet here and then we have the parquet floor in this area. It follows through very nicely and we have the black and gold finish. But the mirrors have sort of like a gold tint to them as well. The hinges are gold, the handles are gold. It's bespoke cabinetry and around them we have wallpaper. We have the speakers in this area so you can listen to music. And we move into the ensuite. We have the countertop units, it's all made by an Italian manufacturer. Standalone oval bath in the middle with the glass brick feature on the sides. The floor and the shower are marble, and this is a really cool detail. The skirting and architrave are also marble. From the floor and around the door, and then there is a textured wallpaper. So the toilet for privacy is behind this door and you have a large shower enclosure. Now I am not the smallest of people. This is a big shower. <laughs> We've got the rainwater shower head. Uh, we have the handheld shower also. And what's really cool on the floor, we have linear grills, which you can hardly see. This is the first children's bedroom. We have the spoke units. They are gold doors, but they have a fabric finish going through the middle of them. Textured wallpaper again. We have the same theme going around the ceiling. We have the same architrave and we have the same carpet we saw in the master suite. Again, an 8K Samsung television. And as we walk into the bathroom, it is a marble finish. Single sink, large backlit mirror, and we have a nice niche here which is lit. These vents, this is for extraction. There's a fresh air system in the house. So even if all your windows are closed, it exchanges the fresh air in the room so ever many times an hour to make sure that the room always feels really nice and it keeps you healthy. Again, a large shower with another niche and we have the linear grill again. As I leave, I feel the heated floor beneath my feet. The floor here is very warm. The entire house has underfloor heating. Now these flowers hang from the ceiling and they are lit as well. So they have some ambiance lighting in them. Bedroom number three. We have the same wardrobes. Andrew's daughter, you can really play football. She's an avid Arsenal fan, even though I bought her a QPR kit and she wears it. QPR's her second team. Up to the second floor. So this bathroom is very small. It is my favorite bathroom in the house, believe it or not. And it's not even a bathroom, it's just the toilet. On the floor, we have one piece of stone. So you can see the black and gold threshold throughout. We have the backlit mirror. We have a countertop sink in black. And we have the gold tap, which is wall mounted. And we have good water pressure. And the black tiles on the wall have a gold grouting. Black toilet. Now this, a 24 karat gold ceiling. Out of there and into the games room. Once again, we have the large 8K TV. We have a sofa that's designed so you can watch the television or you can sit and watch people play pool. Over here we have the bar area, again, gone with the marble finish. We have opening windows on three sides of the room. At the front, we have the Velux windows over here, and we have a small area where you can stand outside. Andrew has all his sports memorabilia. He's somewhat of a collector. Have a look at this paneling. Lovely bespoke paneling on the wall. Now, Andrew's gonna do something for us. Andrew and his friend here. Roger Moore. Sir Roger Moore. The best James Bond, obviously. Uh, I would argue Sean Connery is the best yeah, James Bond. Lots but... of people will. <laughs>
My name is Mark. We can get okay. some of Yeah. Let's go over here. Let's have a look at this. Boom. <laughs> we are in, and this is the poker room. Oh, yeah. My favorite room in the house. This room is acoustically isolated. For some reason, we have a gold pole and a stage in the corner of the room. Now, I believe that that was for structural reasons, or Andrew, who's also involved in a lot of films, he was having tryouts here for the new Batman movie. Great bespoke poker table. Now, the panels you can see on the wall, which are so cool, and in my favorite color, this also has acoustic properties. And if you want to take a break, you want to step outside, you want to make a call, you step out here. Have a look at this area behind you. What a house. And remember, the poker room is a secret. <laughs> On this top level, plenty of artwork here. Now here we are in the guest bedroom. There is one more bedroom with an ensuite bathroom and bespoke wardrobe. floor I step out the door and here you can see the garage now I've left the garage till last because I want to explain something to you that's really important above the garage Andrew has a completely separate house the house has dual occupancy so this house is one unit and the unit on top of here is a second unit. So Andrew was able to save on stamp duty because it wasn't one entire unit. Now Andrew lets this unit out to people who come and stay with him, to friends and family, and it's kind of separate from the house. So sometimes you don't want guests even in a spare room. You want them in a completely separate unit so they can come and go as they please. And that's what Andrew uses it for. Now let's take a look at the garage. It's a three car garage. Again, with the black and gold theme. It has a tiled floor, and across the back you'll see Andrew's favorite cars, the Bentley, Lamborghini, and the Aston Martin. Over here we have Andrew's first car. Remember when Andrew got this? A lot of people look at this and think this is a V8. This is not a V8. This is one of the original Bentley Continentals in a V12. It's an animal. Let's go and have a chat with Andrew and see how he feels about the home, and if there's anything he would have done differently. Andrew and Winston. What's on? Thank you for showing us the lovely house. That's a pleasure. I really appreciate it. So tell us, Andrew, when you first got the plot, did you envision it would be like this or did you have different ideas? What did you look for? You're right, the plot was the most important thing. You know, an acre south facing was very, very important to me because of all the entertaining that I do. It's a show home. Uh, you know, I wanted to show off all the capabilities of, of uh, various companies that I've got, Southern Grove, High Life, and the new company, Future Life, which is uh, to do with the air source heat pumps, sustainable energy, you know, green is the new black, which I've trademarked, I'm happy to say. And um, really, the, the build itself, you know, the base build was fantastic. It's done by a local developer, and they've done a really good job, but I then want to put my stamp on it. So I've actually gone through 
and spend only four million pounds updating everything to get exactly how I wanted it. You know, it works from inside to outside, it works for a family home, but fundamentally it sort of, you know, flows, as you can see, you know, from one room to another. Mm -hmm. So you create in a show home, do you believe that you'll be able to generate more business from it? Yeah, that's its principal objective, is to generate business. So people can come in with different price points. Obviously this is a high-end residential property, so very different to our normal affordable housing, uh, student housing, as you know. But this is obviously on the high end. Um, and you can come in and then pick out whatever you want, whether it's a stingray table, to a bespoke fish tank, or to the technology piece. So basically everything in this house is for sale. Yeah. So I could say, I want this stingray table, but I want it a bit smaller. Yeah, correct. I want this Samsung TV, that one's too big. I want to have this bathroom. So basically everything that we can see here, uh, one of your companies does it, yeah. and this is where you show everyone, and this is where they can place orders. Do you feel that will intrude on your on privacy when you're here? Not particularly, no. I mean, uh, you know, I'm not here all the time. This is, as I say, it's used as a show home. Um, and you know, I'm more than happy to take people around as I've done with you today. Um, no, no, no. Uh, what well, Andrew, Andrew doesn't mean everyone should contact him and ask to be shown no, around. No, no. <laughs> Just you it's want to by, caveat that. Yeah, it's by appointment only. I'm, I'm working on something. Uh, you know, it's it's probably going to be uh, picked up by a large company for them to, to use it as a show home, yeah. and I'll be the the person to show them around, right? It's, and uh, you'll actually show people around. Yeah, so it's a, it's a labour of love. Um, you know, Tim Barrett works for me, the design guru, and he's picked this out. And you know, even now, it's 95 percent complete. You know on the high end, Daniel, how hard it is to get that finish. I you do. just don't care size, uh, place and other people's places, Yanni's. To get that bespoke finish, it takes time and energy. And sometimes you have to revisit it. You don't get it right all the time. But, you know, the space has worked particularly well. And that then gives you the opportunity to, to bring forward that finish. Is there anything, if you started again, that you would have done differently? Or do you think you nailed it? Uh, I think I've nailed it. I mean, there's a, there's a couple of finishes that I'm going to pick up on. But the zones work particularly well. Uh, and the main areas, as you've seen, are just fantastic. But no, I'm pretty, I'm, well, I'm very, very pleased with it. Um, you know, you've got the, the high ceilings, you, you know, the, the basic fabric was here, and then we've just taken it to the next level. Wow. Which we try to do in any, any of our projects, really. Congratulations, mate, because I, I love this house. You know how many houses we've yeah. been in, you know, the projects that we've done together. Mm. Like, you have absolutely smashed out the park here. And just to be clear, Andrew did offer us this build but we were really busy at the time and I couldn't give it my all so somebody else did this build it wasn't an Asheville build. You still did the skips you still did the grabs yeah we still did the skips the grabs we still I still contributed throughout I gave Andrew my input um, but Andrew's always black and gold and I'm more black and yellow absolutely yeah. hence the gym yeah <laughs> let us know what you think of Andrew's pad and let us know what you think of creating a home what you can use as a show home to generate even more business Thank you for watching. Click here for the Asheville website. Click here, subscribe to our channel. Click here to see an interview where Andrew gives his take on the property market. How long ago was that? It's probably two years ago now. Probably two years ago. And let's see if some of that's come true. Yeah. And click here to see an Asheville video that you may not have seen before. What a house, mate. Hmm. Winston, it's just licking me continuously.